Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special figure showcase and review, we're going to be looking at the 2017 Power of the Primes Deluxe Swoop. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We're going to have a look at the accessories that come with him and how you can use them in both modes. And funnily enough, there's a multitude of ways you can use this in robot mode and some of them aren't even in the instructions. We will then of course do some comparisons with him and some other swoop figures and as i'm lucky enough to have one still in the packaging we can have a look at the artwork and everything that's going on there before we get started this is a belated happy birthday message to finn from ontario canada it was his birthday on the 3rd of november so happy birthday finn and i hope you like this video very much right then let's have a look at him so deluxe figure um and yeah but pretty much the last version of Sweep before we hopefully get, hopefully get a nice update with, of course, the Studio Series 86 line. So, lovely head sculpt. I really like this Sweep figure, to be fair. A lot of the other Dinobots I wasn't in this particular toy line fond of, but I really like this one. Looks good. Um, he's got the blue chest, which is, of course, a homage to the cartoons and his Diaclone figure rather than the Generation 1 figure. There is ball and socket joints you can see in his shoulders. They'll spin all the way around. Elbow, um, our bicep joint, of course, will bend. The legs as well, you can see, are on ball and socket, so they'll go backwards and forwards. Knee tilt. You've got a bit of an ankle rock as well, but it's just mainly for transformation purposes. But as I said, I think this is one of my one of the better Dinobot figures from the Power of the Primes toy line. So let's have a look at some of the accessories that come with him then so he comes with the sword which of course is very g1-esque but then he also comes with this which is usually more commonly used as either um, a foot or a hand because of course in this particular toy line you could combine swoop to become volcanicus but here we go if we fold out the fist as well you can see there is a hand however you want to use it of course, you only need the one thumb, so it can be either hand and, of course, as I say, it can be a foot as well. But what I like about this, and again, some of these aren't even on the instructions. So if you want to attach this to his back, like a bit of a big backpack, you can see you've got two tabs there on either side. And then, of course, you've got two squares there either side. So this will clip into them and it will hold in place on his back. So it can actually, to be honest, especially when you put his sword in his hands, it can help with the counterbalancing because he is quite awkward to get to stand. And that's probably just down to the leg. So it's good that it can go there. You can also, as well, you can attach it to the front. Now, the way to attach it to the front is you fold the thumbs, which they are down, again, using the same two tabs. And we're going to now hook this into the tabs either side of his beak. This is a bit awkward, to be honest, and it's very much so for when... Uh, there you go, you heard it click in. So there it is, like a huge, huge chest pack. This makes it really awkward to balance. And then, of course, you can still use this. Take this off. You can use one part of it as a gun if you wanted to. And then, of course, you can put Titan Masters inside, or Prime Masters, I think they were referred to. So I've got... Solus Prime here. Let's let him focus. There's the little tab, but we can sit him inside, and then it's up to you. You can have it as a gun, you can have him being carried. There's quite a few things to do with this. As I say, there's a little bit more playability with these than what you probably do. Remember, before we have a look at him in his alternate mode, let's have a quick look at basically it's, it's pretty much a redeco of him and this was the generation selects version so you can see it's exactly the same toy just the different color scheme and the reason for the different color scheme is because the generation selects is the homage to the generation one figure so you've got the same red chest and it's pretty much i say apart from maybe the bit there of the feet and the claws the same as the Generation 1 colour scheme. So that's why we got the Generation Selects version. But this, as I say, this one 
is more true to the actual Generation 1 cartoon. Right, what we're going to do now then, we're going to very quickly have a look at him in his alternate mode. Right then, we're back and as you can see, I've got him transformed into his alternate mode. I didn't do the transformation on this video. It will be done in a separate video. I need to keep the length of this video down and again, not to spoil it for yourselves. So here is the alternate mode. And this, I think, maybe lets it down a little bit. It is really quite blocky towards the back. Um, and if you do display it sort of standing there, it doesn't look the greatest at all. You can bring the head down still if you want and display like so, which I think maybe makes it look a little bit better. Um, but otherwise, again, I'm quite impressed with this figure. I want to show you some of the things, again, that you can do with this attachment. So we already know that we've got some tabs and some holes underneath there there's some holes and then we've got some tabs on the back of the feet there so you can again if you wanted to you could attach this is it going to click in hopefully it will for me yep there we go just knock the camera uh, it'll fit in there so you can then of course carry this on the back and indeed again if you wanted to you can take your little titan or power masters or whichever ones you've got and of course you can then carry them around as well that's a lovely little gimmick to be fair it's it's brilliant it didn't get as much uh, i suppose praise as it might have deserved so we can take him out the back we can take all of this off i'm going to literally move that out of the way for a second and the other thing you could do as well see there's this little hole on the underside there of his beak you can actually attach the sword underneath his beak as well there you go then so what I'm going to do now, then I'm going to put him back into his robot mode because that's how I choose to display him. And then we will round the video off up then. Right then, we're back for the final time and just to, I suppose, round the video up. I just want to quickly again show you the wings because I didn't show you these in the first part. And I do really like the fact that you've got a lot of freedom and how you want to pose these. You can see they really have got a lot of articulation on them. You can have them down, slightly out. And I think that makes the figure really really good when you flip it around this side this is the part where you'd be attaching it if you wanted to be combining him and that's exactly what this accessory then would come into play as well you would have him as either well, well any one of the limbs an arm or a leg before we round this up then let's have a quick look at the boxed one there's some brilliant artwork of him there although it looks like he's got a yeah it looks like he's got a red chest there which of course he hasn't he's blue and there it is again power of the primes and if we spin it round, we've got pretty much what i showed you in the video there where you can clip that on his front and there's some of the other things that are available and again there is both of his modes quite a cool figure to be honest um and one of my favorites of these some of the other dinobots weren't the greatest and i'm so excited to see what they do with the studio series 86 one as and when we get one but for the time being this is the current latest version that we had of him and it was released in 2017 hope you enjoyed looking at him hope you liked it as well finn and everybody else as well please take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe